Hey everybody, Miles J here, and today is a very great day in Las Vegas. I don't want to be too loud right now because my mom's out there and she's very irritable right now, so don't want to, you know, strike, you know, cause a volcano to erupt. So let's not do that, shall we? Okay. So this past week has been really confusing because, you know, school's out and you just lose all track of time when school's out, or at least I do. So for the past week or the past three days, I've been um, hanging out with my friend Shannon that you saw in my previous video, and her graduation was today. And we were all so happy for her and everything. We were standing in the crowd screaming and stuff. Her graduation actually wasn't as expected, you know, because, yeah, she got a sip of a certificate of attendance and in here in Las Vegas what that means is basically you get to walk but um you didn't graduate technically so we were all really pissed when we saw that because we knew for a fact that Shannon graduated she got her, she got her card signed and she also got you know passed our proficiencies which is tests that we have to take for each subject that determine whether or not we get to graduate so she should be ready to go but for some reason she didn't get her diploma so we're gonna have to figure that out so hopefully all goes well in that department and I hope Shannon graduates. So far this summer has been, mm, I can't say uneventful, but so far this summer has been just, I haven't accomplished my set goals yet. I'm still trying to work to get a job, well not really, I'm just hanging out with friends as for the moment for the first week because I might be going to California, don't really know what's going to be happening with that. but. Um, Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find a job and I'm trying to get my license all before next year because next year is my senior year and I don't want to be having, having to go around ask my mom to drive me everywhere or take me places or help me buy stuff for my senior year. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go to the questions because you guys asked some really hard questions this week. So let's try to get to those. I'm pretty sure I'm going to take a lot of time with these. <clears throat> Ryan and Alex asked, what is my favorite designer? To be honest, I don't really have a favorite designer. Actually, stay away from designers because designer means I'm paying a lot of money. Let me give you an example. Here are some jeans. Yeah, nice jeans, you know, the butt, you know, the zipper, you know. So I go to a normal store like Levi, I guess you could say, and get some jeans for like $20. And then... <laughs> If you look over in the next store, in the designer store, you can find the same pair of jeans, but the price is jacked up to 80 bucks. No. Hollister, for instance. Hollister, Amber, Crombie, and Fitch. Yes, I'm putting all of you on blast. Your jeans, your shirts, your little cargo pants. It's just normal clothes. Clothes you could probably find at the Goodwill if you really wanted to find them that bad. But the only difference that it makes is it's got Hollister or Amber, Crombie, and Fitch tattooed or stitched into the shirt. I'm paying for the name basically. I don't like paying for name brands. I don't like paying for designer jeans unless it's something really extravagant. Now, let me show you extravagant. Now, I could understand if I was paying $80 for something like this because of the studs and all of the zippers and the buttons and the handcuffs. But you know, who would want to pay or who would go out wearing this? I would. But Besides me, who would normally go out wearing that? Nobody, really. So maybe that could also cue into, you know, how much it would be. So I would pay $80 for that, but, you know, actually, I lied. I wouldn't really pay $80 for that. It'd have to be cheaper, but I'm just a cheap bastard, to put it simply. Yeah. Next question. Oh, by the way, hey, Alex. I haven't really seen the show in the loop. I know that's sad. I'm on the gaze of the week, and I haven't seen it. So I'm going to check that out. Yeah, hopefully I'll get to meet you someday. You seem like a really cool guy. Nima's question is, when it comes to guys, what are my deal breakers? Well, huh. I have a lot of things I could say about, you know, that. One, like Jeff said, Jeff and somebody else said that too. They have to have good hygiene. That's a must. You can't be walking out of the house and be stanky or dirty hair. It depends how dirty, but a little dirty is kind of okay because mine's not that great either so not gonna judge on that um i don't like assholes at all so if you're cocky and cocky in the sense of yeah yeah i don't like that i find that to be the most disattractive thing on the planet well actually no i lied here's another one i find ignorance to be the most disattractive thing on the planet if disattractive is a word 
then that's what I find it to be. Ignorance is so disgusting to me. I hate it. So if you're ignorant at all in the slightest bit, don't expect me to look your way. Next question comes from Scott, and he asks, if I had one million to give to a charity, which would it be and why? Well, I don't really, I don't really normally have anything to give to charities and I don't really pay attention to charities that much sadly so if I had one million dollars like I'd have to go and look up a site or several sites actually and look where to give this money to because honestly I I really don't know any charities forgive me Jeff's question is if I could only have one cent, which would it be and if I had to lose one cent, which would it be very complicated question because to be honest with you I love all of my senses touching feeling seeing hearing tasting did I forget one I'd probably keep my sight I would keep my sight because even though I wouldn't be able to make music I don't know if my speech would be affected by that at all I'm speech speech yeah I would keep my sight because I would still be able to draw I'd still be able to write you know type and see what I was typing like scripts and stuff because, you know, acting. So, I would still be able to act if I was able to see, but deaf and, ooh, mute. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> and the other one was if I had to lose one sense, which would it be? Um, one sense, I would lose the sense to, I'd lose the sense to feel because I'm not having sex anytime soon anyway, so. <sighs> If I got stabbed, it'd be okay, because I'd be bleeding, and I'd be like, oh, let me run to the hospital and not feel a thing. And if I get beaten by my mother, then, you know, I wouldn't feel that either, so that'd be pretty cool. But then again, if you're talking about emotional feeling, I think I've probably already lost that one already. I'm still trying to find it. So yeah, my question for the rest of the GWs and all of you, that means you, people who are watching, you guys aren't answering my questions. You need to answer my questions. I'm going crazy over here looking for the answers and I'm not seeing them. Put answers and video responses. I love those. My question is, well actually, I have two because the first one's a little bit, you know, raunchy. So um, I made an extra question or an extra option just in case you guys didn't want to answer that one because it might have been too personal for you. Option A, question one. What is the most awkward sexual encounter you've ever had? Now, sexual encounter. You can go anywhere you want with this, but try to keep it to a minimum on the words and stuff and the grotesqueness of it. You don't have to be like sexual encounter like, mm, he stuck it in and then he burst in the artery and we had to go to a hospital. I mean like, yeah, it doesn't have to be like that. So you could be more like we were kissing and and then I accidentally burped in his mouth kind of thing. <laughs> Even though it's kind of gross, but still it's funny. And who wouldn't watch that? I mean, come on. So yeah. And option B, question two is, how did your parents react when you told them you were gay? Were they accepting or did they disapprove? I don't think anybody's asked that question yet. So here I am asking it to the GWs and all of you out there. So if you don't like question one, then answer question two. If you don't like question two, then answer question one. If you like both the questions, then answer both of them. Be my guest. <laughs> I'm Miles J, your Friday Gave the Week, and I'm signing off. Goodbye, children.